Hello everybody, I'm Daniel Causer. I'm a software developer and a Microsoft MVP. I am passionate about everything related to mobile development and I'm super excited to be here today talking at the UNOCONF 2021. Our industry has many different flavors of frameworks for us to pick and choose. But the frameworks that give that gives us flexibility are the ones that are true successful. The ones that empower us developers to do what we need to do. This is what we'll discuss in this presentation today. How flexible the UNO platform is when it comes to giving us the tools that we need to get our jobs done. I believe everyone is used to this picture here. But I think it's important to highlight the fact that UNO through .NET has access to all the native ecosystems of the platforms that we want to target. The goal of this presentation is to show how we can use these native APIs on our UNO apps. So to do that, we'll create a barcode reader app. This app will target two platforms, Android and, and the web. On Android, we'll use the Zing mobile library to read barcodes. This is a library uh, available on the .NET ecosystem. It has implementations for Android iOS and other platforms. So our Android app will basically have a view with a button that a user will click and will be redirected to the camera of the phone. And the camera using the Zing mobile library will scan for barcodes that show on the camera feed of the phone. Now for Wasm, we'll use Quagga.js. Quagga.js is a JavaScript library and we'll import it to our UNO project. And with the aid of UNO helpers, we'll work with JavaScript on C Sharp. So first we'll create, uh, we'll have to create a HTML5 video tag that will load the feed of the webcam on the web page. After that, we'll import the Quagga.js library into our project so that the Quagga.js can start scanning our barcodes from our video feed. And third, we'll actually see how to invoke C Sharp code from within JavaScript. So demo time now. I am gonna open up Visual Studio. And first we need we are going to target the Android demo first. And for that, we going to start by adding the Zing mobile library to our project, to the, to the head projects that, are, that have implementations for this library. So let's go ahead, search for the library on Nougat. I believe I already have it installed for Android and iOS, but let's go ahead and reinstall on also UWP just to show that this library has the proper implementation for the three platforms. Okay, so here we are. We have installed it. And next, we need to add permissions to our Android projects. So the Android will need the camera permission as well as the flashlight permission. Let's go ahead and save. After that, we also need to start up the library on the main activity of our Android project. All right. Oh. Okay, so IntelliSense is happy. So let's go ahead and go to the Uno shared project and here we have a basic MVVM setup. We have the barcode reader service. We have a main page view and the main page view model. All right. So we are going to go ahead and add a contract to our interface that is going to be the one that reads the barcodes. Let's add the usings on the page. And next, let's go to our view model and add the required code 
for the view model to call our method from within no service. This is going to be an async. And after that, uh, assign uh, the value of the barcode to a local property that is binded to our view. Now, next, let's go to the implementation of our service and add the required usings for Zing Mobile. And let's also go ahead and add the implementation of our class, of our method, right? So here we are. We are targeting Android. Android and also UWP here. We have the compiler directives. So we are literally calling two lines of code to be able to show the to show the camera and and handle all all the complexities of uh, the flow of reading the barcode. I am gonna uh, be scanning barcodes from this phone. Uh, it's simpler for me to place the iPhone in front of the Android and make sure that it's actually uh, reading the barcodes. So let's go ahead and build, the, build and deploy to my local Android phone that I have here on my setup. And right now the Android phone is pointing to the screen of the iOS phone that contains the barcodes that we're going to read, right? So while we wait, I think it's good to see that and to know that Uno runs on .NET, right? So we have access to the extensive ecosystem of libraries and tools available on .NET to our Uno apps, right? As long as they have the implementations on the targets that we are uh, pointing to, we have everything that we need uh, that exists nowadays on, on the .NET e ecosystem, right? So our app is currently building. I am also gonna open up um, Visor, right? Is where we're gonna actually see. And you can see here the, the screen of my phone, of my physical Android phone. And Voila, we can see that the app has a button and when we click on this button, the camera will open up and the value of the barcode will be shown on this barcode value here, text box. So let's go ahead, click here. And you can see that it, it did scan the barcode and it was quite quickly. So let's go ahead and open a, a different one with a different result. So let's go ahead and voila, we see that it also has understood that uh, the barcode has this text, right? So wonderful. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the next step, which is targeting the web. So I'm gonna clean, undo my changes over here. And let's check out a different branch right now that will contain the starting code for our Wasm demo. Now, for the next demo, I want us to take a look at the HTML5 component that we are ha we're going to have to create. So it's called Barcode Scanner right here on the Solution Explorer, and we are gonna see that it's basically like a dummy class that has this method over here that we are gonna cover in a little bit. So let's just ignore it for now. We are gonna tell Uno that this is this is a a control. So this is a UI component, and let's also. Let's also go ahead and decorate this, this component with some attributes. So these attributes are basically to tell Uno that uh, this component is going to be a div. And on the constructor of this 
class, we are going to call a Uno helper that will allow us to create a child component to the div. So we are creating a video tag, and this is where our camera feed is going to show on the web page. Now we have to go ahead and add our component to our view. So we are going to open up the main page view and I'm also going to add a conditional prefix here that I only want to compile this component if we're targeting the web, if we're targeting Wasm. So let me go here on the stack panel and add our component over here. So it's going to be displayed below the text box that pops the barcode information on the screen. Now, back to our barcode scanner, we also need to execute some JavaScript to let, to basically be able to start the feed on the web page, right? So I am going to add here a init JavaScript method that executes some boilerplate JavaScript to let the, or to, to grab the video element that we just created and start the, the video feed there. And as well as we need to let the control know that when it's loaded, we want to init the JavaScript, right? All right, now that our component is created and it, it, is show, uh, it is properly displaying or capturing the camera feed, we also actually have to add the Quagga.js library to our, to our project. So I have Quagga.js file over here. So we are going to go ahead and add it to our Wasm project in the Wasm script folder. And we are going to also need to change the build action to embedded resource. All right. Saving. Now, Quagga.js requires some, again, configuration or boilerplate code to start up or to be configured. So we are going to go back to our barcode scanner component and we are going to add that boilerplate over here. So we have a quagga init that we need to do and as well as we need to hook up the own detected um, event that quagga raises once um, it detects barcodes from our camera feed. We also need to execute this JavaScript. So I am going to use this Uno helper here to execute JavaScript. And we are literally sending it in the string with all of the JavaScript that we want to execute. Now, finally, we need to go to our barcode reader service. And in here, we are going to let it know that when it's compiling on Wasm, we actually also want to start the Quagga library. So we need to start or let Quagga know that it should uh, start looking into the video feed for possible barcodes, right? And this again is a Uno helper. We have many Uno helpers that we can utilize from our C Sharp code. This is one of them you can also execute or run uh, asynchronous JavaScript as well. So there, this API is pretty powerful. Now, going back to, to our demo, we are gonna target Wasm and we are gonna build it now. And let's go ahead and hit play. The WebAssembly app is being built. The binaries are building. The build has succeeded and it deploys the browser. Now the binaries are being uploaded to the browser. And finally, our application is being loaded. 
and we are going to be able to see the video feed showing. And voila, here I am. So let's also open the console app and we are going to be able to see here the, the logs that Quagga.js dumps into the browser log to let us know that it's configured and it's start, it has started up. Now, I also want to show here that on our app, we also have the Quagga.js library available to us. Wonderful. Okay. So let's go ahead on the console, clear it up, and start scanning barcodes. And I am going to pick my phone once again and point it into the direction of the feed over here. And it should start detecting it in a little bit. And we can see on the we can see on the console of the browser that it has detected some text. Yeah, and it has detected it again. Now we are only showing the information on the console. We are not actually showing the information on the text on the text box that we have on the page. So let's go ahead and fix that. For that, we have to invoke C sharp code from from JavaScript, right? Because it's in the JavaScript that the Quagga.js library is raising this event. So let's start by adding some, some code over here that will actually dispatch an event, a custom event called barcode detected. All right, so this barcode detected will take in the result information that Quagga.js gives us here when it raises the own detected um, event. So now we have to let our component, our UI component know that it should also register a HTML custom event handler. So for any time that the barcode detected is raised from JavaScript, we want to raise as well the C-sharp event that we have here, which is that first method that we had on our, on our component here, on our UI component class. And basically what it does is it's sending a message to the view model that the barcode has been modified or the value has changed and it should update the view, right? So let's go ahead and save everything and deploy once again, build and deploy once again, our web app. So now it's building and it's been built. It's being deployed to the browser. Our DLLs are being deployed and it's loading our application. And voila, we have once again the video feed. Let's open up the console and actually go ahead and try to scan the barcode once again. Oh, but first we need to click on this car scan barcode button, right? Because that's what starts it up with Quagga.js. It did detect it, but it didn't quite grab the value. All right, so we can see once again that the barcode value has been detected from the barcode that we just read, and it actually also populated the information over here. All right, so thank you very, very much, everyone, for uh, watching my presentation. I hope that I was able to send a message and show within my demo how flexible the Uno platform is to use the .NET ecosystem, but also 
Uno gives us tools to that allow us to use JavaScript libraries that are out in the open and we can make use of them and and giving us the really the flexibility of working with whatever and whichever libraries and, and tools that we need on our projects. Thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the UNOCONF.